Hi Audacious Church, my name is Nefe. I'm one, I'm part of the TBA at Manchester Central Location. And I'm here to talk about my favorite Bible character, and that is King David. Yes. Um, I mean we know David to be the man who killed the lion, who killed the bear. David is a man who killed Goliath, strong man in battle. Um, but beyond all of this, beyond all these accolades, beyond all these good things, um, I see David as a worshipper who totally understood the love and the grace of God. And it's it's amazing to see that David was jealous for the presence of God. David was willing to do anything. He was willing to count himself as nothing. He was willing to bring himself down as long as God was glorified. And, you know, for David, he didn't care that he was king. He didn't care what the world thought about him. All he thought about was God. And beautiful thing was he also didn't care about his imperfection. You know, David was a man who fell just like you and I. He was a man who was filled with our imperfe- was filled with imperfections just like you and I. He was filled with a lot of weaknesses. But you know what, beyond, he didn't just know about his weaknesses, he didn't just know about his imperfection, he knew about the grace and the love and the mercy of a perfect God. And he was always leaning on to this grace, always leaning on to this mercy, always leaning on to this love of God. I know we see time after time in scriptures how David would always go back to God, would live in total dependency of God. And that's what I love about David. His accolades didn't matter to him. What he had done, killing Goliath, didn't matter to him. What mattered to him was that... He knew a God who was perfect. He knew a God who loved him perfectly. He knew a God who was merciful. He knew a God who was gracious to him. And his life was a life of grace. And personally, I want to, I try my best to emulate David, to be a worshiper, to be that man who understands grace. I mean, and I hope you and I will wake up and realize that we're not perfect people, but we serve a perfect God who loves us perfectly and who wants the best for us. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.